Welcome to Let Us Play Gamers. Today we're playing my favorite game, which would be The Lion King. For the Eric's not here today. <laughs> Who's Eric? I think you're out of batteries. <laughs> no. Kids of today will never know the joy of playing good Disney games. Back in the 90s, Disney games were top notch, which such great classics as Tarzan for the PS2 and A Bug's Life for the N64, which we'll probably be doing next. <laughs> now, it is a little known fact that no human being has ever actually finished this game. We will be the first. We will not. <laughs> If you want to see our dramatic conclusion to The Lion King, check out part 257. Click the link below. <laughs> oh. ah. Yeah, this is one of the first games to implement a half jump. Oh. True story. <laughs> now, if only it had analog controls, something that, NC that Nintendo seems to have... Uh, all the controls are terrible. <laughs> if this game was on the Xbox 360, man, if you jumped with like left trigger or something, you would make that jump every time. If this game was on the Xbox 360, they would have guns. <laughs> if this game was on the Xbox 360, a big X button would pop up in the middle of the screen every time you had to do anything. <laughs> Wait, I mean A. X is on the PS2, I guess. Keep rolling. Bring it! This is the boss. A hyena. Like most games of this era, this later becomes a you know, normal enemy. In fact, two levels from now, this is the only normal enemy. That's how I get the bonus. I have to do the bonus level. You don't get the bonus level. I get the bonus level. Fuck you. You pick up the bonus thing. Oh, there's the bonus level. You might remember this from Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. Well, it makes a reappearance here. Oh shit, someone's been playing Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. Oh yeah. Perfect. Mason just messed up the mic, so that's what that noise was. Try not to fuck up my score. Wow, this is my favorite song in the original Lion King. I bet this level is easy going and uplifting. Just like, oh shit. For those of you fans at home that weren't already aware, Todd sucks at the Lion King for Super Nintendo. <laughs> oh my god! I'll get it, I'll get it. I just haven't done this in a while. Get it together. Now, do you see that? Did you see how I landed on his nose and then it didn't, didn't pick it up? Super Nintendo is known for its flawless hit detection. So, here we have monkeys. Why do we have monkeys? Well, they throw you around. But that was kind of completely useless. So you have to I think it was this monkey's fault. See, I scared him. And that's how the rest of this level looks. Oh no! Okay. This level is just one complicated, difficult puzzle after another. After this, we get to do the impossible ostrich thing. And if you manage to get past this, then you have to do the impossible, like, tail jumping thing. Oh! Give me that. I pressed up because I had an up arrow. <laughs> Todd's not playing anymore. <laughs> the king has returned. See, the game knows I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> we can use that to sync the audio. <laughs> I have actually been using all of those moments to sync the audio of every episode. It's funny to me because I don't have to sync the audio later. Okay. Do you know the words? I used to. Do you? No. <laughs> 
Okay. So what it this says, everyone's up, favorite part is leading. We have to press A instead. Because A has never been jumped in a Super Nintendo game. It's actually B. Whatever. Super Nintendo's backwards. See that? Two up arrows because you have to jump twice. Do 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 do. Oh, cool. Now we get this part. This, this is hit detection. <laughs> you thought the giraffes were bad. Oh my god, I made it on the first try. Oh my gosh. And you got the one up. So if you make it there every time, then you get infinite tries at this. And let me tell you, you'll need them. Let me tell you, you won't get there every time. There's a continue. So now we're back to where we were before Todd lost. Great. Oh, more ostrich. Now you don't, now it doesn't tell you. You just have to know. Well, you've already done it. I know, but then you can see the things. Fuck! Yeah, that was a double arrow. No, it was a down. Oh. I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> I took a few lives, that's okay. We'll do continues. Let's see how far we make it. Now, notice how the background doesn't scroll in sync with things and that the water under their feet is part of the background. You There's a name for that. It's called parallax scrolling. It is used to create the illusion of depth. No, but look at the water under their feet. It moves. <laughs> <laughs> that is still that, technically called not... parallax scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch that while you are doing this, you will lose every time. Ah! We can use that to sync the audio later. Fuck! Okay. I like the oh. use of different distances that you have to jump between the swinging tails. Hmm. One, two, three. Sick. Oh, did you see that? I jumped the giraffe. I'm just that awesome. Oh. oh, you hit something undescript <laughs> at the top of the tree. <laughs> That's why you have to do the double jump, because you'd, you'd hit stuff. Okay, so I'm going to give this six million more tries, and then I'm going to give up. Because it will never He's stop. actually going to give it two more tries, and then you'll give up. No, because there's a one up here. <laughs> oh, right. You will never run out of lives. Unless you're tall. Oh. To be fair, this game is rather generous with the one-ups and the continues. Its difficulty comes Whoa. from being frustrating. We are playing on the easiest difficulty. No, we're playing on normal. Are there actually different difficulty levels? Yeah. You see, the joke was supposed to be that there was only one difficulty level, but apparently I am mistaken. It changes the number of lives you start with and how many hits it takes to kill a hyena. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Fuck! Cool. Sorry, we're not being very interesting, but this game requires a lot of concentration. <laughs> so, did you do anything interesting today? <laughs> I played the Lion King on the internet. No way, me too. I got one million subscribers too. And... <laughs> Comment, rate, subscribe. Ah! Oh no. See, they put you the lives there, so you'll keep playing forever. If it wasn't for that life, you would eventually get sick of doing the first half of the level and quit. Yeah. This game is insanity. When you're actually playing this game, you're not too aware of the lives it continues and stuff. You, you usually make it. <laughs> Pretty fast ducking. Does this game have a password system or do you have to start from square one? You always have to start from square one. Wow. There might be like a cheat code system, but there's no passwords. 
Like, you might be able to do, like, up, down, up, down. It's a matter that we're not saying much because you know this music will keep our viewers entertained. This game speaks for itself. We can advertise this video on YouTube as you know, Lion King can't wait to be king full song with music video. More like the like 10 second clips they put in here. <laughs> oh! Okay, Todd's gonna play. Okay. Now you get to see how a pro does it. How to hack like a pro. Todd has already forgotten what the buttons do. <laughs> In real life, do you think rhinoceroses can do that? Oh. That jump always gets me. That's how I'm gonna die this next two times. Well, then we can run out of lives, and it'll be the end of Lion King for Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, viewers, decide what you're gonna watch next right now. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend all of our other videos. Hint, hint. I recommend rewatching this video with a different YouTube account. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, darn. Gosh, golly. Way that I anticipated dying. <laughs> this game does find new ways to surprise you. <laughs> oh. Take ten. And next time on Let Us Play Gamers. <laughs> We will be playing something else. <laughs> We're gonna get this.